All right, so you have a lesson created, and all of it is here at the front of the classroom at the panel. I can obviously touch the panel and interact with it, but isn't it helpful when I can go work with small groups or be in other locations in the classroom without running back and forth between this student and then the panel? My name is Dan Sharp. I have 12 years experience in education, and I'm one of USONIC's professional development trainers. Today we're going to talk about the MyViewBoard companion app. It's an application that you can download for iPhone or for Android. It gives you wireless control of my view board, allowing you to be able to be in the classroom without being stuck to the panel. First, what we're going to talk about is how to sign in. When you sign in with the app, make sure you're using your G Suite or Office 365 account. Anytime you open up my view board for Windows or my view board for Android, Use the app to scan the QR code and sign in. The second page of the app is going to have some different controls. The first control you'll notice is a page selector. So on this first page, I can push the page over, and then it will wirelessly select and move my presentation to the next page. So I don't have to be at the panel to transition. And if I want to go back, I can select back here. The middle icon on the companion app allows me to use a wireless laser pointer. So if I touch that icon and then point at the canvas, you can see the little red dot and it tracks my phone as I move it around. The board public portal is how students can interact with the MyViewBoard software. There they can do pop quiz, share their screen, or throw an image. To display that for students, you can use the companion app by touching and holding the URL button. You can see here that it displays a QR code which kids can scan, or the web address for my board portal. When I release from the companion app, that screen will disappear. If I want to share this presentation as a PDF, I can touch the QR code button on the companion app, and then that's going to automatically take this presentation, convert it to a PDF, put it in my cloud storage, and then display a QR code, basically a shortened URL, that you can now scan and access this presentation as a PDF. I hope you enjoyed this video. We have tons of tips and tricks, so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, follow us on social media, and if you want more information, check out the description. You can get in touch with us. Thanks for watching.